Okay. We are live. Hello, Susan. Hi. How are you doing, Joe? <laughs> yeah, good. Well, I'm not that good, but um, I'm alive. <laughs> I'm coughing. Just so you know, everyone, I will have very ugly coughs during this conversation. But that's okay. Um, so, Susan, um, yeah. maybe you tell us a little bit about when you started acting. Oh, well, a long, 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 long time ago. And then I, I found so many other careers that I loved. Um, I was an upholsterer. Um, I was a videographer. And then about three or four years ago, I thought, there's still time. I would really like to find out about this acting thing, like oh, dive amazing. all the I way in. Know. I didn't know you had many careers. Oh, that's fun. That's mm. so fun. Lucky you. <laughs> and... um. So how many years ago was that? For the acting? Yeah. The, re the recent incarnation uh, started about three and a half, four years ago. Three and a half, four years. That's funny because knowing you and your instrument, I would have thought you were just like a born actress, that you've done this all your life. That's, you know, who knows why yeah. I am back here. Yeah. So maybe there's something yeah. there. Yeah amazing okay so um so when you did start <coughs> there we go when you did start did you study acting how did you move into it um well i'd been doing print work i was a model um i went from utah to new york and whoa <laughs> and you know everyone has their, you know, everyone that takes an acting class or two, no matter what you do in New York. So yeah. I, I studied with some pretty good people. And then, like I said, I went on to all these other careers. And mm -hmm. uh, since being back, I've um, studied with, I don't know, I, I had a master class with <coughs> Chaz Palminteri. He was pretty wonderful. Uh, a lot of different you know, casting director courses, things like that. Um, I would say quite a few things, not any one yeah. fantastic coach okay, that's great. well known. Yeah. Okay. And then um, how was that when you started acting and you took those sessions with these people? Uh, how, how was the experience of acting for you um, at that time? Well, I knew that I had something um because it was fed back to me but it wasn't consistent it was I don't even mm -hmm. know why I was good when I was good but it was enough to where yeah. I would get called in again and mm -hmm. I I needed I needed to know I the the bottom line is finally instead of having me being good and why I was good being vague I needed I needed to know more about myself I mm -hmm. didn't want to call myself yeah, an, I didn't want to call myself a, an actor. I mean, I was studying, I was doing it, but I there was a big part of me that I didn't know about myself that I could mm -hmm. not definitively climb into a role. Um mm. I when I was good, I don't know why I was good. When I was bad, nerves, um trying too hard, all kinds of reasons that were not going to get me anywhere. Yeah, and I've heard this many times, you know, like I've heard many times people who know they have something and you definitely do have something and I think everyone has something, but I've, I've seen your work and so I know that to be uh, for sure. But then it shows up sometimes and then sometimes it's you don't have access to it and it's kind of very, um, it can be very nerve-wracking to actually, like as a professional, to not, know how to access what you yeah. do your job with i've heard that many times like it's very troubling to be like this was amazing and i have no idea how i got there or this was shitty and i don't know why because i worked hard on it so like yeah not knowing your instrument basically not knowing how to play it mm -hmm. yeah 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 mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. it's so 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 Four years, three or four years after starting is when you decided to do the reset or, um, and if so, 
why did you decide to do the reset? What made you think that was a good idea? A little bit different of a beginning to that part of the many decades. It was time to get an agent. Um, mm -hmm. So I jumped on another major coach's class who, you know, I don't know if it's cool to say Brian, but uh, um, it was all about getting an agent and yeah, it yeah. was great. Um, it was an investment. And all of a sudden I was making this fantastic letter about who I am and all of this. And I thought, I can't, I can't see myself going and have a meeting with an agent. I do not know yet who mm. I am as an actor. I'm, I'm, I know who I am as Susan, mm. but I needed to have those two concepts marry each other. Mm. I needed to feel mm -hmm. very, whether I have one credit or 20, when I have a sit down with an agent, I needed to feel very comfortable about who I am, what I do, what I can do for yeah. you. Now, how can you help me? Yeah. And yeah. I didn't have that. Definitely. So I heard about yeah. Reset. I looked at some mm -hmm. of the the teaser videos, if you would, and it was mm -hmm. very intriguing. So mm -hmm. I'll just keep going here. I, I signed on about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. it, there was a lot of glue there. I found some really cool stuff out. Um, mm -hmm. But I little by little sort of didn't make one class, didn't make two classes. Now I'm 10 classes behind. What's the procedure if I want to jump back in? And well, pretty much I was so behind it, which it would be start over. And uh, mm -hmm. I just let it go. Although I thought, damn, I wish I would have finished that reset. I, I know there's something there, but I wasn't going to go mm -hmm. back in the way for whatever reason. Uh, there wasn't really a reason, yeah. but I just wasn't doing it. Mm -hmm. And then I found out that yeah. you were doing one live. And I went, ooh. Mm -hmm live instead of mm -hmm. listening to those other people go through the experiences and hear Joe comment mm -hmm. to these people that were a recording, mm -hmm. I could have Joe comment to me personally mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. hear what she's saying to other people that I'm like learning to love in this program, mm -hmm. these mm -hmm. 16 or however many people there were. I was trippy to actually hear from you, Joe, and have your mitts on me mm -hmm. and take mm -hmm. me when I was feeling like, this isn't working. This isn't working. I, I don't understand what you want me to. I, I get, I'm frustrated. And, and then from there, you, you go exactly where you should be, Susan. Now. Yeah. Let's keep going. Yeah. yeah. And, and yeah, then going. I couldn't wait to get into the next class. I would, there's no, yeah. I only missed one class, one session out of the 33 days. I assumed I'd probably be missing, you know, a handful. I, I didn't let anything else get in my way. And that's unusual mm -hmm. for me. And I had this rock mm -hmm. solid thing that I was totally mm -hmm. into because I, I I saw what was happening to me. Mm, that's amazing. Okay. And so, so let's say your first go at resetting yourself, resistance hit, and you let it, take over in a way it like it made you walk away from it and then the second round you showed up fully and so and you did did it all the way what what do you think is the outcome for you um coming in with something where you say like I'm not really knowing myself is something that I don't I'm not going to sit with an agent if I don't know my my acting instrument yet so now you've reset how how is that um how is that for you now um well i have tasted i have tasted from this cup on a very like oh my gosh i am i am and and okay so i'm still a little bit in and out with it but i've seen I've seen how to get back to taking care of resistance. Mm -hmm. um, in the gravity of being with the class every day, um, it's, it's, it's really, really something. And it changed my gravity. I'd go for a walk after I'd have a session and I was experiencing the walk differently. I, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, what is this? How come I'm, how come, what's different and it's mm -hmm. what I think it is and is that I didn't have these things niggling at me 
And it wasn't just one major resistance chunk. It was, I think we have so many. And I had purged them in, in the sessions with you. I purged this one. It, it's still there. It, it's, it's not totally gone, but I, it's there to help me now. And I have conversations mm -hmm. with it. And, and, and once, you, once you identify what a certain resistance is, and you let it scream and make weird noises and shout and everything. And, and, and it, it calms down from out of nowhere, mm -hmm. it will calm down. And, and for me, everyone was a little bit different or quite a bit different, but for me, it was yeah. like, now I can actually say, how are you? Are you okay? And it might say, no, you ignore me. <laughs> You've always <laughs> ignored me. I've been trying to help you do this. And you just, I'm like, mm -hmm. whoa. This is, this is, this is very, very interesting. So on that walk that I talked about going on, it's like, I was free of these things having such domination over me. Mm -hmm. And I was lighter and more open and not burdened by things that I never really consciously knew were burdening me. Yeah. That's the key, right? This. It so much huge. talk in the back we don't even we don't even know that there is yeah i think the data on that because they can get in there and scan right i think we have seventy thousand thoughts a day and um i think the data is over 90 percent of it is downward spiraling loops so they're not oh, yeah. creative thoughts they're not present thoughts they're not um, aligned thoughts. They're all pretty detrimental to our well-being. Definitely. Why is that? What is it in the in human nature that that? Well, it's not let's... nature. It's okay. it's what you know how we were raised and how we were told that the supposed normal is <laughs> normal is that um, that we should behave a certain way and not feel our feelings, and so all of that is repressed and has to stay in the background and. In, instead of just you know being able to feel what's natural what what's nature which is that we have our feelings that you would feel your feeling and then get to the bottom of it and get the wisdom that you need for your experience on your path instead of being able to do that which is to live in a natural and healthy way we've been told none of that is normal what's normal is that you behave or press it smile be polite please do it right be a good girl and so inevitably what that, you know, wires into your system is a lot of voices that are constantly hypervigilating for, oh shit, like, well, I feel this, but let me hide it and do, what would this person want? What, this is how we're raised. I mean, yeah. I was, you know, my parents are visiting and I was, um, th th this morning, my daughter had a, a little friend over and they were, they had just been yelling and running and giggling and riding each other's backs the whole morning and and you know uh i was looking at my family member and i was like do you realize like that this is this is what they actually need and they do it all day in this type of school that we put our children in because it's radically you know humanistic and so they don't have to sit in classes but in traditional education right. from now four years and a half until 18 you're asked to sit down and be quiet and behave and do things you don't want to do when what nature what your nature wants is to actually run around and yell and you know be full vital force and you're asked to never do that you're told you're wrong if you do that but that's really not what's you know natural or healthy for a child it's what's constructed as normal in the society but it isn't so uh, no wonder we have those thoughts. I, I just have to say, as you know, I've, I've mentioned that walk. Um, mm -hmm. That's what I want to do when I'm on the walk. I want to twirl and I want to skip. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. um, I want to swing and I want to yeah. say hi to everybody. And yeah, you know. you're alive. You're present. Yeah. You're yeah. not, you're no longer stuck with what, what am I supposed to do? What can I do? What can I not do? All of that. You're in peace of mind your mind is at peace and the rest of your body can live. Yeah. I, I, I can see though that um, you have to be so mindful of the process that you showed us 
because mm -hmm. those those other you know bugger attachments they'll work their way right back mm -hmm. in <laughs> so i was so uh, well, yeah there's um <coughs> you know that gabor mate who's a big um, trauma specialist wrote um his last bo book is called the myth of normal so i can't stop talking about it um and yeah down. he says it's yeah trying to heal in a sick culture is what you're trying to do okay. trying to heal in a sick culture so yeah all around you people are conditioned and look at social media tv is anything that you know any ads anything in the culture is really about behaving looking a certain way being a certain and speaking a certain way, thinking a certain way, feeling a certain way. So everything is the, in the culture is still wanting you to behave in, under the myth of normal. And you've awakened to your truth, which is, has nothing to do with normal. It has to do with natural and healthy. So, so it is, it's really about, um, yeah, you being aware that like, as, as long as you're going to continue to feel your feelings, which is what you were born to do, you're going to be able to be aligned with yourself with your truth and your freedom and in your art to be fully expressed and if you're going to start choosing not to feel your feelings and instead behave and think the way you're told and feel the way you're told and look the way you're told well then you're abandoning yourself again right so then you go back into conditioning but you know once you've awakened to your truth again it's very difficult to make also that choice of a hundred percent saying, Oh no, I don't want to be myself. I want to go back to the programming. I want to go back to behaving. So as long as you continue to feel what you feel and honor yourself and honor your truth and not abandon you then yourself, you're free. Well, I think I needed to hear that, you know, mm. not that that would have been the outcome anyway, but I, 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 we're you know we're we're mental beings we're thinking maybe yeah. too much and um that i think i needed to hear that just uh, allowing yeah, myself great. to feel what i'm feeling even yeah possibly the angst that i'm i'm feeling <laughs> i'm feeling today a little oh, bit absolutely. about a taping i've got yeah. to do it's like well feel yeah. it then just feel it yeah It'll, you absolutely. know okay yeah. That's 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 all we do is like resetting means reminding you to feel your feelings because you were born with them. You used to feel them when you were little, then you got programmed out of them. And resetting yep. is resetting your capacity to feel your feelings again. So that's that's really all it is. I mean, yeah. it's not necessary to share this, but um, it it I I remember as a kid and my mom being exasperated with me, which, you know, I, that's probably normal. But she says, why do you analyze everything? Why do you have to mm -hmm. analyze everything? It was not a good thing, whatever analyzing was. Mm -hmm. And it just, I remember mm -hmm. feeling, knowing that whatever, it, that it was just a part of me and that it was bad and mm -hmm. stop it because it's annoying me. And I'm just like, geez, mm -hmm. I see that now at the time. I think it just well, shut me up. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, you know, whenever I take a peek at people educating their kids in the supermarket or in the street, that's still how people do it. I was at the post the other day with my son in uh, post office, and um, two two families in a row ahead of us were carrying, I would say, one year old children, and you know they would do some little ooh and go, and every single time the mother would turn around. And go, you know, wow. and then one of them was starting to get fussy and upset. And she turned around and she said, if you continue, we're going back home. So it's really like how castrating, how damaging to a little person who only wants the safety and the love of their caregivers to hear your parents, the ones who are supposed to keep you safe and protect you. Say, like, if you continue to be you, I'm going to reprimand, punish, and, and you know, get, give you some uncomfortable feelings where you can't spend the day with me, and I'm going to send you back home. And it's just like how devastating. For or, to person, you know? <laughs> or to the orphanage. Or to the orphanage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I heard that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I remember scary. hearing in my childhood, like, if you don't behave, we'll send you to um, boarding school. Yeah, I got that. I mean, how scary is that? Of course you'll scary. of course you'll behave. Of course you'll pretend. Of course you'll 
repress everything that you are to make sure that you stay safe. It's the, you know, it's the best thing to do. Anyway, but we're, 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 you know, resetting makes you get back in touch with that truth. And that's wonderful so that you can serve that to your characters. So I'm so glad that yeah. you did it and that you did it again and that you can now really I, I'm cultivate so, that relationship with yourself. I'm so yeah. proud of myself that I finished yeah. it. It's so easy yeah. not to finish things. We might sign yeah. up for a class and there's a million reasons. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I'll finish that one. Or yeah. not that, yeah. you know, I don't accomplish things, but yeah, this one, but this one, I needed yeah. to do something about it. So finishing it and meeting yeah. those people. Wow. But, and, and this is not a class. That's why I think it's super crucial because this is really okay. yeah, not, I'm not a teacher and no, it's fine because people, people still call it that, but it really is the anti-class. It's really the, the journey that brings you back to you and that reminds you that you don't need a class. Yeah. I think my next appointment is there. So I'm, 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 I'm over time. So, okay. But anyway, so yes, yeah, so I'm so glad you reconnected back to yourself and it was a delight to work with you. Joe, I can't tell yeah. you. It was the best possibly i don't know i'm not gonna say of my life but it's yeah. huge it's just huge yeah thank you yeah well thank you so much susan and um so for anyone who's watching this if you are looking for information about the reset if you want to consider it then um let us know in the comments and we can send you a link and um that's it for today i'll see you soon <laughs> <laughs>